For the last seven years, Scout has brought much joy to his family. However, in early July of 2019, Scout suddenly collapsed. Upon examination at a local hospital, a large bleeding tumor was found in his heart. The diagnosis was likely hemangiosarcoma, and the prognosis was devastating. Hemangiosarcoma is an aggressive cancer that develops out of blood vessels. Generally, that's a disease of the spleen of dogs, but a percentage of dogs will develop that tumor uh, at the base of the heart uh, or in the heart uh, tissue itself. It's highly metastatic, uh, that is that it spreads rapidly and aggressively throughout the body in most cases, unfortunately. And our window of opportunity to treat this disease is quite short. Uh, it uh, really progresses very quickly. The typical average survival for a dog that develops hemangiosarcoma is about three months. With very little that the doctors could do at the local hospital, Scout's health faced grave danger. But Scout was lucky. Scout had a family that was willing to fight for him and was willing to do whatever it takes to fight for his life and refused to simply put him down. Upon further consultation, with no appointment, Scout was driven to the University of Wisconsin School of Veterinary Medicine. Scout was brought to the ICU rather quickly. We already had some information coming in about he had uh, bleeding from an, a tumor on his heart. So we gave him oxygen. We performed uh, thoracocentesis, which is removal of fluid from uh, around the lungs inside of the chest. The scout seemed to feel a lot better after the fluid was removed. And he was already a great sport about it all anyhow. Uh, so then I went back in and talked to his mom and dad, uh, who were wonderful people, and they discussed their priorities and his management. With Scout's family wanting to be as aggressive as possible, um, we talked about a variety of different treatments in combination. And so we used radiation therapy for Scout with the goal of targeting the local tumor, so targeting the local disease. Um, and then to treat the potential for metastatic disease or spread of cancer, we used chemotherapy. When we gave our initial dose, we gave it during a, a single week. And then after that, we would look at him every two to three months and get another CT scan to evaluate the size of the tumor and compare. We imaged him afterwards and it shrunk by about 75%. Every animal that comes through these doors is brought here by somebody who loves them. Loves them, sometimes desperately, um, so passionately. They are such an important piece of our lives. And that's why we're here. We're here because we want to help people. We want to help their animals. And we see so many amazing bonds and so much um, trust. Today, Scout continues to have and enjoy a very high quality of life, thanks to the great people and programs at the University of Wisconsin School of Veterinary Medicine. Um, this campaign is going to make a big difference for us. On the one hand, it will probably mean more money coming in for the basic scientific research, which is absolutely necessary, but it's particularly going to mean more money for some of the experimentation that is necessary to take what's happening in the lab out into the clinic. Now, that's not only good news for dogs, but once it's effective in dogs, you start testing what it will do for other types of animals, and over time, who knows, it may well have some very amazing effects for humans as well. To help the people who help Scout, and to help further this important cancer research, we ask you please to donate to the University of Wisconsin School of Veterinary Medicine. It will help so many other pets receive potentially life-saving treatments. Thank you.